What important speaking lesson can you learn from mankind's first trip to the moon? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Many people know that the first time human beings landed on the moon was July of 1969, July 20th to be exact. What a lot of people don't realize is that the last 10 to 12 minutes of that landing were extremely tense, as you would expect. More specifically, there were computer messages that were constantly being relayed to the astronauts, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, and also Mission Control. One message in particular was called a 1202. The astronauts had no idea what this message meant. And in the last 10 minutes of de the descent, if they couldn't figure this out within seconds, they might have to abort the mission. Fortunately, a young NASA engineer named Jack Garman saved the day. Two weeks before the launch of Apollo 11, Mission Director Gene Kranz had issued an order that all technicians, all team members, were to go through training over and over again to plan for any possible unexpected issue within the computers. One of the issues that kept coming up was this 1202. What that meant was that the computer was overloaded with secondary information and it couldn't make decisions. It was not a threat to the landing itself or to the crew. Jack Garman knew this. So that when the astronauts radioed to Houston and said, we've got a 1202, what do we do? In about 10 seconds, he was able to tell Flight Director Kranz, hey, it's okay, we can proceed with the mission. I know it's, it's not a critical issue. Because of the extra training that Director Kranz had dictated, Apollo 11's mission was saved. What does this have to do with speaking? You've heard me say this before. The best speakers practice, they drill, and they rehearse, and they do it in front of live audiences. We can't predict everything that could possibly happen. However, we can recreate about 90 to 95 percent of the unexpected if we'll just go out there and rehearse in front of people. Technology is going to go out from time to time. Uh, people may interrupt your presentation. Occasionally somebody may get upset, usually or they may challenge you. The more experience you have with those situations, the less they'll fluster you. You and I are not landing on the moon or nobody's life is at stake. However, we do have important messages that we're putting together. Make the experience as good as possible for you and your audience by rehearsing and practicing and knowing what to do when the unexpected occurs. Do this and you will leave a more lasting impact on everyone. Talk to you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.